Good morning guys. So it's November the 19th. Saturday, November the 19th. I have a couple of clients today. I got a quick question. What do you guys do? Like, this sweater hangs on a hanger, right? And then it lumps up because the hanger is not long enough and I can't find a hanger long enough for it. And that drives me crazy. It looks so stupid. How in the heck do you keep sweaters from doing that? Oh, that's going to drive me crazy all day today. So anyways, not much going on today. Um, I have to work. Um, move Marco um, stuff to his and his girlfriend's apartment today. Um, I have an aunt that's not doing so well, so if she doesn't get any better, I may, I may be taking a trip to Springfield, um, because she's not doing good at all. So I talked to Marco this morning and told him just heads up, Aunt Cherry's not doing good at all, and... I may not get to move your stuff over there today. I might have to wait until Sunday. So we'll see. Maybe have to go to Springfield to say our goodbyes, but hopefully not. Hopefully she'll pull through this and she'll be strong and she'll keep fighting and she'll make it through this. This is my Aunt Cherry that came and stayed with us for basically the last month my mom was alive it's her sister it's my aunt and uncle that we would go to and stay the whole summer with when we were kids so we would stay with them for two or three months in the summer and then come back home so hopefully hopefully she'll pull through this so we'll see i'm getting ready to feed the animals and all that Baby. Dropping some, Phoebe. There you go, girl. You want your food? Want your food? It's funny because she'll just look at me like that. And then Peanut is just sitting in the corner waiting. She's like, do I get some too? So here's the thing with this little girl. Sometimes she don't eat all of her food. And so I won't put her any more in there because she don't eat it all. Sorry. And, um, hold on. And I only give her like that much. So I don't know why. I don't know why she don't eat it all. Because it's not like I give her tons. Look at Marco's mess. All of his stuff that he needs to move. All packed up right there. Already got him a baby thing. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl, so um, my client gave me that. And then if they have a boy, we'll just buy them a new one. And then I'll just keep that one here to have the grandbaby use it at Grandpa's. And then his bed's just laying here on the floor, so it's easy just to pick up and take. See, like, look at this. Like, eat that food. So what I'll do is I'll just like, just give her a dash and then she'll eat, eat more of it. She's so picky on um, her food. Phoebe, are you wanting to go out before you eat? Is that your deal? Are you wanting to go out before you eat? I can't open this door today. I'm just all flustered and not with it today. So excuse me. Okay guys, so I'm here at my sister Christie's. 
we just got the phone call we need to leave and get down to Springfield because it's not good. So I called my client, rescheduled, and now I'm at my sister so we can head down there. Alright guys, so Christy and I made it up to the hospital, so we're down here with the family. So I don't know when we're going to go home, but we will see. Just wanted to give a quick update. Okay, so we went and had dinner with my Aunt Candy. And now we're at Comfort Suites. Yeah, Comfort Suites. Because we're going to stay up here tonight. Because we've got to make a decision tomorrow on if we're going to take her off life support or whatever. So we're staying up here so we can do all that tomorrow. So this is coming. Okay, we checked into one hotel, but they were full. Or we didn't check in, we tried. They were full, so we went to their sister station, which is a little bit further away, and it's in a really sketchy area. My sister thinks, but I'm not nervous. Just because we were walking in the parking lot and some guy with the backpacks with the non-lit cigarette in his mouth says, Hey, do you guys got a lighter? That's not why I got nervous. I got nervous because he literally walked halfway up steps, looked at the room, and then walked back down. <laughs> and she's like, Brad, get in the car! Springfield is known for meth. <laughs> so anyways, we're staying at this sister place. I mean, it's below 50 in here because they had the heat off, which is crazy when it's 30 something degrees outside, but I'll show you the little room here. Oh, and there's the kitchen. The bed, and then the, 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 the couch, couch bed. bed. But you couldn't then, sit on it or lay on it because it's, it's arctic cold. In yes, it. and it's leather. So this is the bathroom. So yes, it's just some cheap hotel for the night so we can catch some Z's. And she's already checked for bed bugs and all of that good jazz. So, anywho, yeah, so then we'll go back to the hospital in the morning unless we get a call. I don't even know how to get this tonight thing down. If, it's if we get a call tonight, then we'll go back to the hospital tonight. But if not, we'll go back in the morning. So let's pray that we make it through the night with her and we won't have to go back until in the morning so anywho that's the update I'm gonna get ready and go to bed good evening everybody it's Saturday so I came home from work and I took a nap so I got up for a nap and then I've been talking to Brad on the phone but talking to mom so I'm just not getting around to vlogging um, I keep forgetting to vlog when I get home from work for some reason on Saturdays. But, uh, yeah, so I took a nap and I got up. Um, Brad, which you've probably seen him vlogging today, he went to his aunt's that lives about three hours south from us. I think it's south. Yeah. Three hours south from us. And she had a heart attack, so I'm sure he told you all about that, so I'm not going to tell you all that again. So he went down there, and I'm um, not sure if he told you, I'm sure he told you they were going to spend the night tonight, because they're not sure, um, she's not doing all that well, so they want to stay around there for their uncle. So they're going to stay at a, hotel, at a hotel down there, and his other aunt and uncle are staying out, so him and his sister are going to stay there. So he just called and told me that a little bit ago, and then I was talking to mom a little bit, and then I fed the animals. Baby's eating, peanuts eating too, and now I'm just getting ready to decide what I want to eat. I think I'm going to finish editing 
Well, I finished editing the vlog from two weeks ago. I'm running a little behind again. It's so hard to keep up with the videos sometimes. I was doing really good and I got a little behind, but I'm trying to catch back up on the vlogs. Uh, I have it all edited. I just need to put it up real quick and make a thumbnail. I think I'll do that real quick and then I'll figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner. It's just me here, so um, I'll probably just go get something somewhere. Marco's gone already. He's staying at their apartment with his girlfriend. They got their apartment Thursday. They're staying there now. We were going to go today. Brad had borrowed his brother-in-law's truck. We're going to move them today and move their, take their bed and stuff over there. Marco's bed. But uh, Brad ended up going down there. So now we're either going to move them tomorrow or sometime. So we'll see what time Brad gets back tomorrow. We'll see if we can take their stuff to him. But I think they're just sleeping on the floor or something there. So yeah, that's about all that's going on right now. I'm gonna edit this video and then figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner. And then um, I think I might catch up on American Horror Story since it, I think it's over now. I think the last two episodes, last two episodes were just a couple days ago. So I think I have like six episodes to watch, I think. So I'm gonna try to get caught up on that. So I got the vlog up and then I ordered some Chinese food because Chinese sounded really good. And we have we have this one Chinese uh, restaurant over here by us that we tried a month ago or so. But I get sweet and sour chicken and I didn't like their sweet and sour chicken because they didn't have, it's just, they just had the chicken in there and then the sweet and sour sauce. There was no onions or pineapples or carrots or uh, green peppers. And that's what I like in my sweet and sour chicken. They didn't have any of that. So I tried this other one tonight. It's a little bit further down than the other one. So I thought I'd try that. So I got that. I ordered it online when I picked it up. And yay, they have onions and green peppers and pineapples in there. I don't know about carrots. I don't see carrots yet, but at least they got the... Oh yeah, there is. I see them right over there. Yes, that's a sweet and sour chicken. Then they got the rice, but that's not much rice. They put the rice in this little bitty thing. Hopefully that's enough. I would think they would put rice in the same size as that one. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, and then I got, that's the sweet and sour sauce for the sweet and sour chicken and the rice. Then I got an order of crab rangoon. And I got two things of sweet and sour sauce for the crab rangoon. That's my favorite thing to get at a Chinese restaurant is sweet and sour chicken and the crab rangoon. Then I had to stop and get some wine because I love, I love Pinot Grigio wine with my uh, Chinese food. It goes so good with Chinese food. So I wanted some wine, so I stopped and got some Pinot Grigio. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday, November the 20th, 7.37 in the morning. That's probably shocking to see me up that early. <clears throat> but we're, <clears throat> we're up. I think we're gonna go get lunch. Breakfast. Lunch at 7.37 in the morning breakfast with my aunt and uncle um my other aunt and uncle of course um i think we're gonna go first watch is what she said right yeah. excuse me i know i need coffee i didn't go to sleep till two three this morning And then I just woke up and then Christy was on the phone and I said, don't you ever shut up? I was talking to my daughter who's having a hard time with all of this and can't be here. Yeah, so. But anywho, I'll, uh, I'll try to record a little bit more today. Okay, so we're at first watch for breakfast. And we're walking in here we, like we own the place. Alright guys, so we're just here at the hospital. Say hi Uncle Bruce. Oh, hi Uncle Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we're at the hospital. Aunt Candy's back there now. We think Uncle Harlan's back there. We just got here and his truck's out there, but he's not in the waiting room, so we're guessing he's in there with her. So yeah. We'll see what's gonna go on today. We may head home today, we may not. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Sunday afternoon. So I fell asleep last night on the couch. I was watching TV and I fell asleep. I took a nap a little earlier when I got home, like I said, but I didn't sleep that long. Uh, my mom called and the Brad calls. So I woke up, which I was trying to only take a little bit of nap anyway, but if I don't take at least a two-hour nap, hour and a half to two-hour nap, I, I'm still tired. But, um, so I fell asleep, I think around 10.30, somewhere around there, and I woke up. I kept waking up, but then I'd fall back asleep. I'm like, I don't want to get up and go to bed. I was so tired. So finally, I got up about six o'clock. And I thought, do I just stay up today? I thought, oh, that's awful early. So I just laid back down. And so I went to bed, laid in bed, and I got up at 9.30, I think. Something like that. But like I said, I catch up on my sleep on my days off because I don't get much sleep during the week when I work because I don't get to bed early enough. Then I gotta get up at 3.30 in the morning. So I'm always trying to catch up, and get caught up on some sleep on my days off on Sunday morning, Monday morning. So I'm up and I took a shower, got ready. So Brad's on his way home. I think he'll be home in another hour and a half or so. So I think I'm going to, I'm doing laundry. I think we're gonna finish these samples I have been making. I started making some samples for our new customers who place an order, we send a bag little welcome bag and we have samples and stuff in there but I was running low on samples. Well I had some other samples but they were like pumpkin scents and stuff but I didn't really want to send those out like during Christmas because I wanted to send out more holiday type scents. So I'm making some samples from the holiday bricks. The five holiday bricks I'm making some samples and then uh, I'm making some samples of the scent of the month for um, November because I had some bars left over from that because the new customers when I got a sample in the mail because I uh, mailed out the samples before they started, before they ordered. So I have those so far. I might need to do another cube of, this is caramel chestnut, but I didn't have as much. I only did two cubes, I think. I might need to do another one, but I'm getting really low. I only have five cubes left of my brick. If I do one more cube, I'll only have four cubes left, but I just feel like that's not very much. Now the other ones, I still have quite a bit left, so I think I'll be able to do three cubes and be okay. Yeah. I have quite a bit left of icicles and evergreen, oh, uh, which I love. But I think I've obviously melted caramel chestnut the most. So yeah, I'm going to finish doing some of those. I'm using our little holiday molds that they sent with our, um, what did they send that with? I think with the bricks. Yeah, it came with the bricks. So if you can see, it says Sensi on them. You can see that there, focus. Yeah, it says Sensi. Looks like a little holiday ornament. So you can pour them all the way and they're thicker or you can just do like halfway. This one is only a little halfway, so it's not as thick because I just when I was pouring the wax out of the, uh, we pour, we, we do is put some water in there in that pan and then I boil it and I sit the measuring cup in there, this glass measuring cup and I put the bar of wax in there and then it melts and then I pour it into the mold. Well, I only have just a little bit left and then so that one made it like a little thin mold, but it's fine, or a little thin sample, but it's fine. So I think I'm going to finish doing those before Brad gets home. And then we've had a couple of people ask us if we we're gonna do, let me get in the right light here, if we're gonna do Vlogmas this year. Hmm, I don't know. That's a big question mark. So if you remember last year, we started it, but we didn't finish. We only did like three days, three or four days, I can't remember. Um, yeah, it's so much work to do Vlogmas, so much. We love doing it, but 
it's just so much work. The recording's not that much work. I mean, even though some days, you know, like we don't do that much, but we vlog, you know, we wake up in the morning, we vlog a little bit of what we do through the day. Um, sometimes there's not as much going on as other days, but that's not really the hard part. The hard part is the editing. Every single day I have to edit. I have to make time to edit the vlog every single day. You don't really know how much trouble that is unless you do it yourself because when you're busy and you have all the stuff going on and it's just really hard sometimes. Such a commitment to have to do that every single day because if you miss it then you get behind and then you're trying to two, put two up at the same time. It's just, and I don't like to do that if I'm not, I really like to be on every day. I don't want to like put, I've done it before I think but I prefer to put them up each day and not skip and do. I know before we've done like two days, we combined like two days together and then did it, which that's okay, I guess, but I prefer to do one day at a time. But sometimes I get behind or there wasn't that much in the, a day, I would like put two days together and then put it up a couple days later or something like that. I don't know, but um, I don't know. Don't count on it, but we'll, we'll think about it. But I'm just putting that out there. It's just a lot of work, so we'll see. I gotta answer the phone. Brad's calling. Yes, baby. Hey, we're getting gas here in Bolivar. Mm -hmm. And there's this, there's this family over here and they're getting rid of some cute little puppies. Can I bring one home? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I told Christy I said, watch this. <laughs> I'm sure they're cute though. Well, they need a good home. Well, that's nice. I'm sure somebody will take them. What kind of puppies were they? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. They uh, they were furry. Kind of, kind of, sort of looked like it, some kind of a poodle. Yeah, probably some kind of a poodle. I guess it's probably like some kind of a Aussie doodle or something. Hmm. Down here, they have all these farm dogs. If I ever got a dog again, probably an older dog. It's already trained. Right. I two for you. I'm done. I'm out. I would love to have a doodle, but or a poodle, but when you go somewhere, you gotta find babysitters and all. I'm just, I don't want any more. I don't think after this one. Plus, we don't have a fenced-in yard, and you have to put them both out on a leash. And money. They're expensive. Yeah, you gotta get their shots. Da, 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 the food da, da, da. and all that stuff. Yeah. Our little dog that is taking five months to eat her big bag of dog food that we bought is good enough. You wanna stop and say hi to Brick and Linda? Yeah. You're on the blog, I'm blogging. Oh, hi. Excuse me. How are you? How rude. I'm on my way home. I just told him that. Alright. I, I, I told him I had to get my boyfriend out because you were coming home. That's right. Get him out. You don't know how close I am. I couldn't do that because we have cameras everywhere. <laughs> right. Got cameras in the back door, front door. Side of the house, by the garage. No sneaking, that's for sure. Oh look, they're standing outside. I'm just kidding. The only way you can sneak somebody in is you shimmy it up the side of the deck on the right side. That's right. And they came through the door that way. Hope get, you don't get hurt when you jump over. Or get a ladder up to the deck. All right. Through that. Oh shoot. Alrighty. Well, I'll let you off here. We're on the highway, so. Alright. And I'm driving. Alright. See you in a bit. Alright. See you in a bit. I love you. I love you. Later. Later.
Hey guys, so made it back home. I didn't vlog much on the way home because we were just ready to get home. I'm gonna go get in the shower, brush my nasty teeth because I didn't take any of that with me. I just took off and I probably stink and have nasty breath. So I'm gonna go jump in the shower real quick, but I'm home. So I got my samples all made. Got them all finished. I got um, seven different ones. Or no, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven. I have uh, December set of the month here, cinnamon pine cones. Got icicles and evergreen from the holiday brick. Caramel chestnut from the holiday bricks. Um, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. What's the name of this one? It's, uh, oh my gosh, hold on, Winter's Eve, I had to go check, for some reason I was wanting to say bow ties and bourbon, that's Bath and Body Works, but it's blue and kind of colony, so I just thought of that, but no, it's, it's Winter's Eve, and then I have the November scent of the month, uh, Sweet Orange and Evergreen, Maraschino Sugar Cookie from the Holiday Bricks, and Frosted Petals from the Holiday Bricks. So I'm going to get these, um, these are going to be for the new customers that place an order and then um, the set of the month for December will be for the new customers and then um, local customers. But we're sending out belts for our other customers that just get the regular set of the month because the other ones, the smaller uh, samples we used to make, we're getting smashed like I said. But these, when we send to the new customers, sorry the battery died, I had to change the battery. Like I was saying, um, when the new customers order, we send uh, a bunch of stuff like a little welcome, a little postcard, and a little catalog brochure. We send them a scent circle or a car bar, business card, and then some samples. So it's in a big padded envelope so we can put these kind of samples in there and they won't get smashed because it's in a padded envelope. But when we do the scent of the month to like 50 to 60 customers, we can't do padded envelopes for every customer because that's way too many, be way too expensive when it's like 50 or 60. So we have to do, we were doing the little bitty thin wax samples in an envelope or a little, yeah, a little envelope, but they were getting smashed, like I said. So I'm just going to back to doing felts because those are easier to put in the mail when I'm sending out multiple samples out to multiple customers. But yeah, these, like I said, are gonna be for the new customers, so they will get samples in their package when they first place an order. So if so, if you are thinking about placing an order with this, if you place an order, you will get some samples. These are all really good. They look kind of like, don't they kind of look like uh, Connect Four pieces? If you just kind of glance at them, they look like Connect Four little checkers or checker pieces. So we're eating dinner, and I forgot to show you what we were eating for dinner. I was going to show it when I was cooking it, and I forgot. We had BLTs. So I have just a little bit left of my second one. We both had two sandwiches. There's a little bit left of my second BLT. Brad's already finished his. And when I had a glass of wine, I might have to get a refill. I'm almost out. I'm watching the Chiefs game. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Goodness. <clears throat> Got choked. <clears throat> we were watching the Chiefs game. Um, we're winning, but I don't remember the score. Oh, 13 to 2. Oh, no, we're losing. What happened? They just scored. Got a touchdown. Sorry, I've been busy. I haven't been watching the game completely because I've been trying to do the samples and everything. So, well, we were winning. Now we're now it's 13 to 20 to 13. Chiefs are losing right now. So, <clears throat> and then I have my warmers, my best of fur warmers I put up here. They look really pretty. It's a little preview. I have one on each side. And then I'll 
I'll show you my other warmers real quick. Just a quick sneak peek before I get all the other stuff up. Put my snowman warmer there. And then I put my December winter retreat warmer of the month in the kitchen here. It looks really good in here. It's really bright. It really brightens up the kitchen in here. I want to get either, I'd like to get like an elevated pedestal to put it up on a pedestal and then put some greenery around it or something. We'll see. I will show all these again when, if I do a holiday home tour, but I'm just giving you a little preview now. But I'll probably talk about them again when I do the holiday home tour. And then in the bathroom I have the, uh, I think it's sparkling snowflakes, I think, or is it catching snowflakes? It's one of the two. That's really pretty. I really like that. That's really bright too. I just wanted to give you guys a small update on my aunt. So after we got home, the doctor came and went in there and um, they have decided tomorrow they're going to take her off the vent and everything. Well, not all the way off the vent, but very, very low. So that way, if she struggles, the vent can pick up and help. But she was breathing on her own some tonight. And then um, the vent was picking up where she wasn't. And they... Um, what else, babe? They, uh, sorry, my mind's, I'm tired. They said, uh, if she does well, then they'll take her completely off. Of course, they won't take the vent out, but they'll just turn it down. And then, um, also they're going to unsedate her because she's been sedated. But my cousin said when she was in there that she opened her eye. She opens her left eye. Right? Let's see. Now she opens her right eye. She, or last night when I was there. Yesterday she would open her right eye. But not her left. But tonight my cousin said that she opened her eye and was looking at her and she had a tear in her eye and she told her you know that if she needs to get rest rather that's rest forever or just rest till she wants to fight more and my aunt nodded at her and um had some tears so we pretty much all have told her that if she's just done fighting she can go so, we'll see what tomorrow brings, but basically I told my uncle, you keep saying if the Lord lets her, wants her, that he can take her, but he can't take her if she's on life support. If, if that's the case, we're breathing for her, we're working her heart for her. Which he understood what I was saying, and he agreed. I said, not that I want Aunt Candy or Aunt Cherry to go, but I don't, I don't want to see her on life support, and she wouldn't want that, and she has said that. And so um, he's like, you're right, and he goes, and she didn't want to come to the hospital, and where are we keeping her at the hospital? And I said, you're right. So, yeah. So anyways, a little backstory on my aunt, people that seen when my mom was passing away, it's her sister that came and stayed with us the last, pretty much last month my mom was here. This is the aunt and uncle that we would go down to when we were kids, we would go down there and stay the whole summer with them because my parents were divorced. So we would go down there to help my mom out so they could help my mom out so she wouldn't have to get a babysitter and stuff for us kids. We would just go down there and stay the whole time. And my uncle is a Baptist minister. And so when I came out, my dad 
when my dad found out, he pretty much made me move down there so, you know, they could pray the gay out of me or whatever. But I just lived in the closet again down there. But they're very accepting now. They love Brett. Actually, when I got down there, my Uncle Harlan asked me where Brett was, and I said at work. So I just came straight here when Aunt Candy called. And so he was like, when you get home, you tell him hi and we love him. <laughs> and when I left today, he's like, make sure you tell Brett hi and love him. So yeah, they're they're supportive of me now. They've they've accepted it. It was hard on them at first, but but they're they're there. And they love Brett to pieces, so that's good. So just a little backstory on why I'm so close to that aunt. Because we would go down there every year for the summer and then I did live them with them for a little over a year down there. So very very close it's like another set of parents to me but please please pray for whatever um, my uncle also has cancer and we don't know how much time we have with him as well and I have two other aunts on my mom's side that aren't doing well one has dementia really well she's in a nursing home now and she's just quit eating and very weak, very skinny. And then my other aunt, my mom's other sister, she has major heart problems, just had a major stroke. She's in a, a, a facility. I can't, it's not a nursing home, but I forget what it is. But she's there. So, not good, not good. But when you come from a big family, I guess there's deaths all the time. So, it's just more, a lot more recently than what we want. So, and this one down south was very unexpected. But she, I think it was, was it a year ago, Ben, that she had a, a heart attack and I went down there? Was it that long? Or earlier this, or earlier this year or something? I can't remember, but earlier this year or last year, she had a heart attack and I, they told me to stay home, but I didn't. I went down there anyways then. And so I was trying to listen this time, but then when they called and said to get down there, I know it was pretty serious, so I went down there. But I stayed until they told me I didn't just leave when I found out she had one, like I did the last time. I listened. I was a good boy. So I waited for them to tell me to come down there. So, very, very blessed to have them in my life. Um, we just, lots of memories and stuff with them because we were with them pretty much half of our life growing up. So... We're, my Aunt Candy that was down there. We have spent a lot of time with her too. Um, my Aunt Sandy that's sick. Spent quite a bit of time with her too. But Aunt Candy and Aunt Cherry, since my mom has passed away, has been very, very good to us kids. And always asking if we need anything. So very close to those two for sure. But yeah, just wanted to give you an update on that. So please pray for whatever. Just whatever the Lord decides. But I'm going to head to bed here in a few minutes because I am worn out. My head hurts. And I try not to take anything, but I just took some aspirin because my head hurts. That's from crying the last two days and stuff, so hopefully it'll get better. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Monday, November 21st. I am wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday because I didn't wear it very long yesterday. I put it on yesterday, and then I got hot, 
like just a few hours after that in the house, so I ended up taking it off. I was doing laundry and stuff, and I got, this is kind of a thick, I got this at American Eagle. It's long sleeve, but it's a little thicker. It's like real soft, it's, it's a little bit thicker, so I get kind of warm. So I was doing stuff around the house, I got hot, and I took it off and put a t-shirt on. So, I'm like, I'm just gonna wear it again today, because I did barely wore it for a couple of hours. Um, and I have to go out and do some stuff today. I have to go to the store, run a few errands, so I'll be out and about in the cold. That's not too bad today. I think it's going to be close to 50 today. Maybe. Brad's getting ready to go to work. A quick trip. He's got to work 2 to 10. Yeah, 2 to 10. 2 to 10 it is. Yep. Yeah. And he had to shave. He has to shave. Working a quick trip. So he's going to go and then I'm going to um, yes. run to the store like I said. I was just working one day a month. But now, I'm gonna pick up Mondays for a little while. So I can get the fence, get the stairs, get extra things done, and build that savings back up. Yeah, we uh, put a dent in our savings when we put the down payment on the house, so I'm trying to get it built back up. So, anyway, I'm gonna get off here so I can finish getting around and then um, head out and run those errands. So before I leave, I'm going to put new wax on my warmers. I'm going to try out the the December scent of the month, cinnamon pine cones. We just got these uh, last Friday, so three days ago. Did our haul video on that already, but we haven't tried it out yet. So I'm putting some of it in all the warmers on the upstairs of the house. I did that with the November scent of the month, the um, Sweet Orange and Evergreen, and it was so good through the whole house. So I'm gonna try it again. Since we get eight bars, I thought I had enough to, I had enough to make samples and to do this. So it took, it used uh, two and a half bars. So I had just four cubes left out of those two, but then we got eight bars. So we had five other bars after this. So that's what I'm gonna do. There's all the bars I'm getting ready to put them in my warmers. So I have my new holiday warmers out, so I'm gonna test them out and see how they do. So I got home from the store and everything, run my errands, and I'm fixing dinner now. I'm just doing ham and cheese. Ham and cheese sandwiches. I used to cook them in the air fryer, but last few times I did that, it's real soft in the middle and then too crispy on the edges, and I just can't, it was good at first, but now I just, I couldn't get it to turn out right the last time, so I'm just doing it in the pan this time. And I'm eating my two crab rangoons I had left over from the other night when I had Chinese Saturday night which I don't even think I told you how that was did I tell you I don't think I did uh, so they had pineapples which I showed you it had pineapples and green peppers and all that stuff in there but the chicken wasn't that good the chicken was like overcooked it was too crispy it was like like overly crispy like and then like too done. It was a little tough and chewy. Yeah, it wasn't very good. 
So I'm thinking about maybe ordering at the place I ordered the first time over here closer to us that was really good, except it didn't have the pineapples, green peppers, onions, and carrots in there and the sweet and sour chicken. Maybe if I ask them if they can put that in there, hopefully they can. I mean, if they have that stuff on hand, they should be able to throw it in there. I don't know why they don't have it in there anyway, because I, most places do, but there are a few places. There's another place too I told you that didn't have it in there. But uh, yeah, I was disappointed in that. I probably won't go back to that one again. I'll just have to go to this one and see if they can do it. Or go to the store myself and buy some pineapple. Keep some... Oh, I don't want to keep those on hand because they'll go old. And I don't get Chinese food all that much. I guess I'd have to go to the store, get some shredded carrots and some onions. And who wants to do all that, though? This whole purpose is going out to eat so you don't have to cook. <laughs> Alright, guys. This is the end of the vlog. Getting ready to go to bed here. Brad's at work. He should be getting off soon here. But I need to go to bed, so I'm going to end the vlog without him since he works today. He doesn't usually work on Monday, but he is picking up some extra hours, like I said, so he'll be working on Monday, so I might be in the vlog by myself for a while. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you all in the next vlog. Good night.